Okay. For this lesson, since we see Pendula, this question one, all right? It's a question on number complex numbers. In the description box, I'll leave links for other recordings that I've done for this supplementary um, 2024 question paper. Now, this question one, it contains two questions, basically. Um, see, now 1.1, now 1.2 with a total of 14 marks. The next question, let me check, let me check the question paper. The next question is also a question on our complex number. So it's quite a lot of marks. So a complex number, it carries a lot of marks, okay? You might find the whole question one weighs around maybe 30 marks. Or in other instances, you might find the first question and the second question it's a question on number complex numbers. So for level three, complex numbers carries a lot of marks, a lot of marks. Okay, so um, for this one, let's start to go 1.1.1. The first question, 1.1.1. All right. So we are we are we are told to calculate the following expressions and give the answer in standard form. Okay. So we we need to simplify this. Right, so we're gonna foil. I'm gonna take O minus three, five minus four I, five minus four I, yes, then two minus I, and a two plus I. So in this case, you have three brackets that should be fold with a three, like Dali, okay? So Mina, what I would do, I would take the last two brackets and multiply them. There's nothing wrong with taking this and multiplying with that, meaning taking the first two brackets and multiplying them. But it would make life a bit more easier to take the two last brackets because they are, in fact, a difference of two squares. So multiplying them is going to make the calculation a bit easier or simpler. Then let's m multiply the last two brackets first. So it's minus it's 5 minus 4i, close bracket, I mean open bracket. So this 2 times that 2, that's 4. The 2 times that i, that's 2i. This times this, that's minus 2i. This times that, that's minus i squared, equal to minus 3, 5 minus 4i. Right, then c one of 4. This cancels this, go by minus. Um, what is i squared? It's minus 1. Close that bracket. Go about minus 3. 5 minus 4i. Close bracket. I mean, open another bracket. So this 4 minus negative 1. That gives us a 5. So the 5 law, uh, sometimes in our way, are 3. We end up with 2 minus 15. 5 minus 4i equal to that. We take this and multiply. Take this and multiply. Minus 15 times 5. <coughs> minus 15 times 5, it gives me minus 75. Minus 75. And the plus 15 times 4, it gives us 60i. Gives us a 60i. 60i. So this is our final answer in standard form, in this form. Okay? Now, 1.1.2. We have this expression that should be simplified into a standard form. This is also a complex number as well. So you know minus 8 minus the square root of negative 2 over 4 plus the square root of minus 25. Close bracket. All right, so it's going to be a minus 8 minus the square root of 2. You know what? You need to show all your calculations when breaking down um, this question. So the, the, the square root of minus 2 is actually the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of minus 1, right? Because we know that the square root of minus 1 is in fact what? I, right? I. I is always the square root of minus 1. So continuing with this calculation, so you know 4 plus the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of minus 1, right? Minus 1, square root of minus 1. 
continuing, Sivano minus 8 minus the square root of 2i over 4 plus, what's the square root of 25? That's 5i, okay? Then we continue, okay? We continue. We'll have to multiply by the conjugate, la. We'll have to multiply by the conjugate, 4 minus 5i equal to this times that that gives us what a minus 8 times 4 it's minus 32 and this times that it's a plus 40 yes it's a plus 40 i this times this it's a minus 4 square root 2 i and then this multiplying that last one it's a plus 5 square root 2i squared over now the denominator and the conjugate when multiplied it's a difference of two squares so it's just going to be a 4 or oh, 4 times 4 that's 16 minus oh, 5 25 I mean it's going to be a minus 25i squared dang it so what I did I took this 4 and I multiply with that 4 16 and then this times this, it gives us a 25 i squared. Now continuing, we end up with 2 minus 32. This and this are like terms. Ne? They are like terms. Um, okay, you know what, let's continue writing it like this. 40 i multiplied by 4 square root 2i hmm. okay let me erase la. yeah let me erase I'm gonna continue this side I'm gonna continue this side okay I don't need this yeah all right I'm gonna continue this side it's a minus 32 plus 40i minus 4 square root 2i and then so you want to plus 5 square root 2 minus 1 divided by 16 minus 25 minus 1 is equal to all right this and this are like terms so that's what add okay let's add those two and get what let's add, um, let's add those two are my real parts aren't it we're gonna add them and round it off to two, three decimal places. So it's minus 32 plus five square root two multiplied by minus one. The answer is gonna be minus 39, minus 39, 071, comma 071. And then for this and this, we have our like terms as well rounded off to three decimal places so it's 40 minus 4 square root 2 answer it's 34.343 34,343i divided by and then so it is 16 minus 25 minus 1 answer is 41 right it's 41 so this is going to be equal to a minus 39.071 over 41 plus 34.343 i divided by 41 so again we're going to round off the answer to two three decimal places ne? so i'm going to write it above this so it's going to be a minus 39.071 divided by 41. Answer is minus 0 0.9523. And then Lana, it's a plus 34.343 divided by 41. 0 0.838 0.838i this is the final answer I give for this okay so i'm taking this down and then we're gonna 
discuss 1.2. Where the sketch below illustrates part of an electric circuit, Kirchhoff's law states that I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. Now, you take I1, I2, look at the direction of the current. La. The direction of the current. So when combined, when they get to this point, they combine and give us a current number 3. Okay? So 1.2.1, they want us to determine I2 in standard form. Right? If I1, so we have I1, that is equal to 18 plus 3i, and i3 that is equal to 17 minus bunny i minus i so we have to calculate i2 so the formula that catch off says i1 plus i2 that is equal to i3 that is equal to i3 right so what i will do is a substitute i1 that is 18 plus 3i plus i2 which is what I, what I want to calculate equal to i3 is also given 17 minus i now take this and transpose it to the right hand side i2 is equal to 17 minus i minus 18 minus 3i i2 is equal to 17 minus 18 that's minus 1 this this and this are like terms as well so they give us minus 4i so this is the final answer Gila. this is i2 now in the next question they want us to convert or change or i3 where's i3 i3 is given right 17 minus i two polar form with theta being greater than zero show all calculations show all calculations all right for three marks all right so in order to change this to a polar form you need two things you need the argument you also need the modulus in polar form it's r cis of argument right this modulus this argument this is the argument all right so how do we calculate the modulus remember we are converting i3 17 minus i r is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared is equal to square root of what is a a remember in standard form i should see no a plus b i so what is a or a is 17 so it's going to be 17 squared plus what is b it's minus 1 squared equal to square root of 17 squared plus minus 1 squared so wait a minute oh okay so it's 17 squared no minus 1 squared that is the square root of 290 equal to let's round this off to three decimal places that's 17 comma zero zero two nine zero two nine so this is r okay this is r r yellow now let's work out the argument let's work out the argument the argument it depends Uti, where does your complex number lie in which okay in which quadrant does your um complex number lie right so if my complex number lies in the second quadrant the argument becomes 180 minus a ton of b over a right and then if it lies in the second in the third quadrant theta becomes 180 plus a ton of b over a remember this is what the argument measured anti-clockwise from the positive axis also measured positive um from the positive axis anti-clockwise and then 
you're gonna have another one lying in the fourth quadrant if the solution lies in the fourth quadrant like this we can say that um, the argument is equal to 360 minus arc tan of b over a all right of b over a so we need to work out a quadrant here too like as to where the complex number will lie in the in, on the coordinate system so the x-axis takes or represents the a value the a value this value right the y-axis represents what the b value the imaginary part this one i can see that a1 is 17 a positive 17 so positive 17 now, now. this is positive 17 let's say this is 17 and then o b it's minus one so minus one is somewhere here somewhere here so the coordinate or the point will lie in the fourth quadrant so combining this theta the argument is gonna be this big so it lies where in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant so to calculate the argument would be to do the following so what is theta the argument is equal to 360 why 360 it's because of e e complex number here to when plotted on the arc and diagram it lies in the fourth quadrant minus arc tan what is b b1 what is what is a or a 17 yes 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 i understand b way to a negative but on our substitute you always substitute your a and b as positive values irrespective of the standard form it in always substitute your a and b as positive right when working with e argument diago now the answer is going to be 360 minus arc tan of b1 over 17 close bracket equal to the answer is going to be 356 comma six three four degrees all right now let's write the answer or the complex number in polar form it's gonna be the modulus which is 17 comma zero two nine seven to six or this or this symbol three five six comma six three four degrees this is my final answer all right this concludes our discussion for question one i hope you enjoyed i hope you told us some value out of this discussion check out the description box for more recordings that i've done for this question paper so for now signing up signing up signing up signing up signing up